get to know the Stella Street Gang. Henny, our protagonist, an abnormally tall, aspiring author with a love for Gillian Rubenstein and chocolate milkshakes. Zev, Henny's best friend. Zev is the most unusual person Henny has ever met. He has electric hair, which nobody questions. Danielle, Henny's sister. Danielle is a wild card. She has out of control hair and super neat electrified ragdoll dance moves. She says what she thinks, and sometimes that's what everyone thinks, but she's the only one who's gonna say it. My hair is so much better than yours. I mean, I. Oh my goodness! Frank, who lives at 47 Stella Street. Frank is six. He's always asking questions. Briquette, Frank's slippery black sausage dog. Briquette has only one true love, and that is food, so here are the gang. Minding their own business, being happy, and chasing after Briquette as she smells a hot dog from three billion kilometers away. All is good on Stella Street, until one day, some new people move in at 45. Henny, Zev, Danielle, and Frank are not quick to judge, but it's hard to be nice to people who complain about your dog, want a higher side fence, sue you for painting your house different colors, and wear too much perfume. These new next-door neighbors were christened the Phonies. Will Frank and his parents be able to keep Briquette, who started the fire at the Phonies that Zev was accused of lighting? Why are the Phonies always buying new things? Where do they get the money? Can the gang bring justice to Stella Street before it's too late? 45 and 47 Stella Street and Everything That Happened by Elizabeth Honey. In bookstores this 1995. <laughs>